Hi friends, happy Friday. My name is Michelle Cottle and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries at Los Altos United Methodist Church. Right now in Children's Ministries, we are working to integrate change making into everything we do so that we can raise children and families who are change makers. I define change making as making the world better, a better place for everybody. So doing small acts of kindness that lead to justice and fairness and love and peace and everything, all the good things for everybody. So one way that that's happening is through Sunday school. We're using the Bible and exploring what it means to be a change maker that way. The Bible is full of change makers and so Sunday school is a great place to find examples and inspiration for change making. That's one way of being a change maker. We also learn through doing. So each week I'm going to invite you to explore what it means to be a change maker through doing a change maker in action, a CIA change maker in action activity. These are, instead of being random acts of kindness, calling them acts of kindness on purpose. So they're not random, they're on purpose. So we learn through doing, so let's do something that makes the world a better place for everyone. Idea one, cook a meal, maybe your favorite meal, to drop off on the porch of someone who isn't feeling well. And I'll expand that to anyone that would appreciate a home-cooked meal. Maybe a busy essential worker, a nurse, a doctor, or a firefighter, or someone who's a little bit lonely. Our next idea is inspired by the story of Naaman. Visit a nearby river or stream or maybe the ocean, a lake. Your bathtub works too. Stick your toes in. Notice how it feels. Is it clean or is it dirty? Is the water hot or cold? Enjoy that feeling. This is a great way of practicing empathy. Read about what life is like for kids in other countries. When we read, we build that empathy muscle because we're understanding and feeling somebody else's life and understanding their perspective. So you can read a book or go on the internet. A great place to start is Compassion International. They're a nonprofit that works to educate people about what life is like in low-income countries and provide basic needs and education for children there. If the first three don't sound like your cup of tea, here's another idea. For an entire week, say a prayer every time you wash your hands. That's 30 seconds to say thank you, God, for loving us and caring for us. Our last idea is inspired by our story from the Bible. Reread the story of Naaman and how he was healed and write a poem or draw a picture about it, him and where you saw change making in that story. I'd love to see what you create. I hope you're inspired by one of these ideas. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. Take pictures or send me an email and share what it was like. And if you'd like to join us for Sunday School, we'll check in and see how it went. You can always email me at michellecottle at lemc.org to get the login info to join Sunday School. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.